We offer two programs under our Climate Risk and Society stream. We offer an MA and an MSc, and these essentially emphasize social science approaches and physical science approaches. Both programs will take modules together, especially our specialized module in Climate Risk and Society. Both the MA and the MSc will receive interdisciplinary training across both social and physical sciences, but the MA and MSc respectively will receive additional focus training on social science methods for our MA students and physical science methods for our MSc students. So I'll just say a bit about the program structure for each of those so you can get a sense of where they fit together, uh, where they overlap, and how you might decide between them if you're trying to decide between an MA or an MSc in climate risk and society. Our MA programs uh, will include some social science training. So all of our MA students take research methods for global challenges. And in this module, we really try to give you the skills to develop research questions and think about how to use social science methods in a practical, more design-oriented way. So this is very much a challenge and problem-led module, which will be a di bit different from social science modules you might have taken in your undergrad, or if you're coming from another discipline altogether, it's going to give you a very practice-focused introduction to social science methods. Social Dimensions of Risk and Resilience gives you an introduction to critical social science approaches to, well, risk and resilience. So here we're looking at different kinds of challenges like health, um, refugee humanitarianism, and development, and we're looking at how the concepts of risk and resilience are used to govern different kinds of problems. So this is fantastic training if you're interested in policy analysis, um, above and beyond climate or hazards, but especially if you're interested in those fields, it gives you a strong grounding in social science approaches to environmental problems. On the MSc side of our program, we offer, um, again, climate risk and society, and this is co-taught with human and physical geographers. So as a physical geographer, an MSc student, you will be introduced to social science approaches as well. Then you'll be given a strong grounding in data collection and data analysis skills to tackle hazards in particular through spatial and temporal dimensions of hazards or hydro meteorological hazards. So as a CRS student on the MSc track, you get to choose between those two modules. Spatial and temporal dimensions of hazards emphasizes uh, data collection and analysis techniques. So you learn different ways of working with environmental data, how to make sense of it, and how to visualize uh, that data in different ways. That is really about the techniques and the science behind how we know what we know about hazards. Hydrometeorological hazards gives you a strong grounding in, well, water-based and weather-based hazards. So if you're interested in flooding or drought, or early warning systems in particular, that's a fantastic module for you to take to develop skills and a knowledge base in those areas. So that module is more focused on specific kinds of hazards and the skill set needed to understand those hazards. Social uh, spatiotemporal dimensions of hazards gives you a skill set in designing research to understand environmental change more broadly. So hopefully that helps you understand how you might decide between those two and the core differences between the MA and the MSc. All of our students then take together a core set of modules, understanding risk, risk frontiers, and the dissertation. Our MSc students as well take risk science and communication in order to develop a skill set about um, communicating difficult and uncertain science to the public at large and to different audiences. This is a really, really important set of skills and our students have valued this going to work, for example, in community relations, where they're working directly with communities uh, who are um, trying to, let's say, build green technology to understand how that affects them, but also something of the science behind the choices that are made. So that's a really important skill set for, we think, all physical sciences, physical scientists going to work in any manner of different uh, organizations after graduation. Together, you'll take understanding risk, um, risk frontiers, and the dissertation, as I said before. 
um, as well as climate risk in society. Climate risk in society is organized around key concepts that are driving both uh, science and politics in the world of climate change. So we look at tipping points, vulnerability, and adaptation and mitigation. And we um, look at those from both social science and physical science perspectives. This means that no matter whether you're on the MA or MSC, you're going to learn to think about those problems from different um, angles and to understand how other people who might be sitting around the table with you are thinking about those concepts. And this is a really important skill set as well as we go um, into the workplace and try to tackle really complex, intractable problems. Understanding risk is also team taught between our human geography uh, staff and physical geography staff. Term one focuses on physical geography approaches to risk analysis, so especially um, environmental impact analysis and how risk analysis uh, plays into that. So you'll learn uh, a specific set of skills about how to analyze risk in uh, related to particular environmental hazards. In term two, you'll work with a human geographer to understand how risk is used in um, government and governance more broadly. So you might look at, for example, uh, risk in the financial sector, uh, in international development, and in urban policy. So those might be some themes that get picked up depending on staff interest in that module. Risk Frontiers is a seminar-based module that we co-organize with the Institute for Hazards, Risk, and Resilience. So that module allows us to bring in experts from beyond Durham and people working in practice, people working in research to come share cutting edge research and practice with you. That also allows us to develop your critical thinking and listening skills. So we have a series of workshops built into that module that develop your critical thinking and writing skills. Um, so we also can sort of focus on the art and craft of asking good questions. And we think that asking good questions is a really important step to coming up with better and better solutions. So that is um, something we think um, really hard about in that module. And then finally, we have the dissertation module, which uh, allows you to take either a research or vocational uh, project. You can work with a staff member on a research question of your choosing and develop a project around that. Or we can help you to establish a partnership with a vocational partner or a non-academic organization who needs a piece of research done. So we have a range of different uh, relationships existing, and sometimes students already have in mind someone or a field that they want to work in, and we'll arrange that themselves with our help in supporting that process. So that gives you two options, research or a very practice-based option for uh, developing your own independent research skills. And that is primarily taught and delivered through one-to-one -one supervision. So it's very much organized around a bespoke tailored program fit for each student and uh, working closely with our staff. So I hope that gives you a sense of the Climate Risk in Society course structure. Whether you're an MA or an MSA student, uh, we think you'll be really well served by our programs.